Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. One, two, three, four, five. Sounds like something an idiot would use as a combination on his luggage. That was a, a quote from Spaceballs, if, if you've never seen the movie. And hopefully you never use one, two, three, four, five as a password, because that's a pretty simple password that just about anybody could guess. Uh, I'm hoping that when you build passwords, you don't use the same password on uh, several different websites because then if someone discovers your password in one place, they can discover your password in another place just as easily. Uh, now, uh, in terms of passwords, and hopefully you've set passwords up before, and of course you may have tried setting up passwords for your operating system or specifically uh, in your web browser when you go to certain websites. So like when you log into your Gmail account or you log into, well, your Ustream account, what have you, you're going to have a username and a password. But what about that information that you store in the web browser? Is that secure even if you've locked down that site with that password and that password's now being stored in the browser? Is it secure? Is it safe? Well, to a certain degree, yes, but we had a question that was submitted uh, from Austin Snowy Milner, uh, who has been, I, I don't know if I'd consider him a friend, really, but uh, uh, we've certainly been in touch uh, over the years. Uh, he says, hi, Chris, sorry I can't be able to chat to ask you this, reformatting a PC right now. Ooh. Firefox has a tool called Use a Master Password. I'm assuming this replaces all your saved passwords with the master one. Is it safe to use? Uh, Snowy uh, you are correct in the sense that uh, it does have a master password setting. However, that is more uh, a function to protect the passwords that you saved inside the web browser. So remember, you, you probably set up a username password for Gmail and Hotmail and Yahoo and Flickr and Delicious and all these websites. So you've, stored, you've told the browser you want to save these for future sessions. Well, to protect that even further, Further, just in case someone comes to your web browser and tries to go to a site and it automatically logs them in, if you set a master password in Firefox, before you can access any of those passwords, you have to unlock those passwords. So think of it as a password to get access to your passwords. And to set it up, it's quite simple. Uh, you go into the preferences or the settings panel in uh, Firefox. I mean, it depends on, on which version I suppose you're using at that point. And then when you flip over to the security tab, uh, you're going to find the use a master password option and in there when you click it it'll even explain a master password is used to protect sensitive information like site passwords if you create a master password you'll be asked to enter it once per session when Firefox retrieves its saved information protected by the password so having a master password doesn't necessarily overwrite your passwords it just adds another layer of protection for the passwords. I don't remember, I think Donnie Darko, if he didn't already type it in, uh, just recommended a, a website. Uh, this is, a, again, master passwords just for data that you keep inside of Firefox. Um, but if you're looking for a way to organize your passwords in, uh, in uh, Windows at least, uh, I believe the program is called KeePass. And it is open source, and I think keypass.sf.net, and, and Donnie, if you didn't already key that in, I'm sorry if I missed that, uh, go ahead and, and key it in again. Great password management tool. Uh, I've never had any issues with password managements. Uh, passpack.com, Cam Black says, I am in complete agreement. In fact, I use passpack.com, even though it's a hosted provider, uh, they do have several levels of security. The reason why is because, and I think I've talked about this before, uh, so I'm not going to go into it right now. I believe we did, did a video on uh, saving passwords uh, and storing passwords because I have Ponzi and I have similar accounts, shared accounts like you know our public utilities. And instead of managing in a spreadsheet, we manage in a password uh, program like Passpack. It's free. Uh, but again, that's you know for dealing with passwords that are universal rather than passwords that are actually sitting inside of Firefox. I don't know if Internet Explorer has the same level of security, uh, which isn't to say it's it's less secure than Firefox, so just differently secure. Um, all browsers are fundamentally flawed and will continue to have flaws. That's the nature of software. There's no such thing as a perfectly secure program. But if you're paranoid, set a master password. If you like to live on the edge like me, eh, master password's not a big deal. Actually. I'd recommend if you have it on a laptop, setting a master password because someone comes along and types something in or tries to extract something, uh, adding that extra layer of security may help protect you uh, from having your accounts uh, compromised. So having that master password in Firefox on a laptop is actually not a bad idea.
Not a bad idea. Oh, key passes. Uh, there's a, a version for OS X and Linux. Great. Thank you, Donnie Darko. Appreciate that. Uh, if you have any recommendations for managing passwords inside of, well, any given application, by all means, uh, we're looking for any kind of recommendation. Um, if you use the master password, you know, and you've had good uh, luck with it, say you have. If you ha if you tried it and it didn't work well for you, well, say that you had a problem. We're interested in your experiences. And, of course, you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night. There is no password required to join our chat room. Of course, if you want to register your nickname in our chat room, which is free, then you, you have to set a password, I believe. Uh, anyway, uh, you're welcome uh, to, to come by anytime, day or night. We're, we're always live at live.perillo.com.